Hello everyone. This video will focus on chapter two for QuickBooks Online. Our main focus will be on the chart of accounts. We'll focus on how to add new accounts as well as how to edit accounts. So you ready? Let's go. All right. So the first question may be, well, how do I access the chart of accounts? Well, from your menu on the left-hand side, if you click on the accounting button, then you would choose chart of account. This will show the various accounts that we're going to use in order to record our different types of business transactions. Notice that as of right now, what's featured is the account name, the account type, the detail type, QuickBooks balance, and the bank balance. Notice that the account numbers that may have been assigned to these accounts are currently not being displayed. So maybe you ask the question, well, how do I display the account numbers? I'm glad you asked that question. From the top right hand corner, this little icon here is known as the gear button or the gear icon. So if you click on the gear icon, then choose accounting and settings. Next, click where it says advanced. And on the chart of accounts, do you see where it says enable account numbers? Come on down here. If you click on the little pencil, which means to edit, I'm going to click here and then choose to show account numbers. So I'm turning on that feature, put a check mark to show account numbers, and then click on the save button. When I close out of the account and settings, and I go back to my chart of accounts, Notice that the account numbers now appear in your chart of account. Okay. Well, now folks, on how do we add accounts to our chart of accounts? And I'll just make up some new accounts for this practice. It'll be the same um, when you're doing the homework. So to add new accounts to your chart of accounts, I'm going to click on the new button. From here, you want to determine what type of account do you want to add, an income account, an expense account, a bank of account, assets, etc. Let's just choose assets for now. Where it says save account under, you would determine what type of asset. So I'll just choose other current assets for the tax form section. So what QuickBooks allow, it allows you to map a certain account with the tax form, meaning that when it's time to prepare the taxes, any transaction for this account will go to a certain line on your tax return. So on the tax form section, we chose other current assets. I'll just choose the same again, other current assets. For the account name, Let's see, we're doing an other current asset. We'll make up one. Let's just call the account notes receivable. So I've made up so many accounts, trying to make sure I didn't make up this account already. Let's, yeah, let's try notes receivable. Then you would type in the account number. Of course, all of your asset accounts will begin with the number one. Let's make this 1050. And if you want, you can give a description. That's not required unless stated in the homework instruction to give it a description. And then we'll just click on the save button. And now we look at our chart of accounts and we see that the new accounts, where is it? Here it is. Notes receivable has been added to our chart of account. So again, it's just that simple to add a new account you just click on the new button, determine what type of account, save the account under, map it to the taxes, 
put in the account name and the account number and click on the save button. Now in chapter two, in the chapter two instructions, it talks about a sub account. Put a check mark next to account if it's going to be a sub account. Now that sub account feature is no longer available in QuickBooks. Again, that sub account feature is no longer available in QuickBooks. So if you're going through the chapter two instructions, understand that you are not going to see a box that allows you to check as a sub account that feature is no longer available in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so let me take let me take a look at the chapter two information again to see what other thing we want to cover in chapter two. Here we go. Okay, another item covered in Chapter 2, it shows us how to add account numbers. So you see here that there are certain accounts that have an account number, others do not. So our next focus would be on how do we add, stop that, how do we add account numbers to our chart of accounts. So we're going to pick an account and go through the process of how to add an account number to the chart of accounts. So we'll just pick any account. Let's see, we did add an account already. What about a an income account? How about sales? So we want to so how do we add an account number to an existing account? Now, of course, you know that account numbers are assigned based upon the account classification. The revenue accounts will always begin with the number five. So your revenue accounts, income accounts will begin always with the number five. So let's review the process of how we added and added the account numbers to our sales account. Okay. So from the account, so again, we went to the accounting, we pulled up our chart of accounts, and we now want to make an edit. I'm working off of two computers, but if I turn to the other one, I notice that my voice quality is not going to be as effective. So let me turn my computer around real quick, and then I'm going to come back and make the actual change. Okay, give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So in order to add the account numbers. From your chart of accounts, you want to click here on the edit button. And once you click on the edit button to add the account numbers, it's really a, a simple process. Um, you're going to just choose the account such as sales and put in the required account number. Let's call this account number 5021. Just made that up. Once account number just click on the save button and voila it's been saved so it's just that simple to add the account number again just click on the pencil which means to edit and then you would choose the account to add the account number two let's do another one uh, let's see let's do a asset account for the under the positive funds we'll call the account 1800 and then i'll click on the save button and once again now we have added that account number to that account 
okay so if we wanted to add a new account let's just add a new account click on the new button mm, which category pick a category this time we'll just choose income and again save account under we could just choose you can either click on one of these if you wanted to let's call it uncategorized income and for our tax form again you would determine which type we'll call this we'll go service fee income so if I put in account title such as rent to income and again give it account number such as 5124 and press on the save button once again now if we scroll down we see that that new account rent to income has been added to our charter account okay so once you're done adding all of the account let's say you want to run a report just click where it says run report here's the report and then if you needed to which you will for the homework send that report to me if you click up top on the printer icon you're going to save it as a PDF file and basically you want to save the file which I've done already you can then upload that file to the canvas site okay that's pretty much the main topic out of chapter two it is focused on the chart of account make sure you know how to how to display the account numbers you know how to add an account you know how to edit an account and you know how to print out your account list this is report for your chart of accounts okay so that will conclude our video lecture on chapter two bye bye